she's drawing a line from the inner canthus to the head of the eyebrow and where the line crosses there that will be the first point and I really believe people who are injecting at the beginning should do all these drawings each and every time for a long time it's much better oh, it takes just one second to do it so that's the first point for the procerus okay so it will be we put usually four or six points in the procerus some people with a very active procerus you can do two points one above the other but one point is, is sufficient. Okay, now uh, the, the corrugators, we go one centimeter above the orbital rim and we do two points and with those two points, we do them rather medially. Okay, you have a lot of uh, publications that show you the points going all the way. I would say if you're not an experienced injector, don't do that. Stay in the medial plane and uh, rely on diffusion of the toxin because every point you inject will diffuse about half a centimeter around. So you will still be able to get those uh, fibers. If after two weeks you find that they still can move, that's okay, you just put in some more. But if you go too laterally and low and you get diffusion to the levator palpebrae, then you have a problem. Yeah? So stay medially. So these are the points, okay? Yes, they are close to each other. The thing is, we don't want, because the frontalis comes above, okay, we want to hit the bulk, that's the bulk of her muscle, okay? This is the corrugate. No, we're relying on diffusion, because if you go laterally, this is where you can have problems, and it's not necessary. We've been doing it like, for a long time, touch wood, we never had any case of, uh, the, the we had one or two cases of lit litosis. Three parts, the central and yeah, the central. yeah. Now you are marking which part? Uh, the, the medial and the central. This is supposed to be the supercilia. Ah. This is the supposed, supposed to be the supercilia, the first point. And the medial is deep. It's all deep. We inject very deep. Ah. We inject very deep because the frontalis is on top. So we go really, we pull the skin when we go all the way down to the bone and just a little bit above. What we do is we draw a line in the middle. This is the midline between the eyebrows. We will assess the peak, the apex of her eyebrow. Make one imaginary line here at the apex of her eyebrow. So it's about four centimeters from the midline and four centimeters, both sides, okay? So this is the apex. What's the point of doing this? Because now in this portion on the frontalis, we're going to put the points to block excessive lifting. Okay. So in her, we want some lifting of the eyebrow. We don't want too much lifting of the eyebrow. So we will put the point at four and a half centimeters above. So now we take another measurement. This is being done very cookie cutter, like scientifically. From the eyebrow, four and a half centimeters above, she will get nice lifting, symmetrical on both sides. Okay? It's higher for in her case, it's in the. Yeah, that's fine. It's in the hairline in her case.